Hello Libra, welcome to the you and them love reading. This will be focusing on your person's energies as well as your energies, how you feel about each other. Um, so let's get right into your reading. This will be for those of you who are already in some sort of connection or have someone in mind. And it will be for Libra, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sorry, I just forgot what I was saying. I forgot English for a second. Um, it'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Libra watching. You know the drill. All right, Libra, let's get into it. So I'm going to use the Animal Spirit Oracle decks just to get it, um, kind of like an insight on how you feel about this person and how they feel about you. I'll be having your person on one side and then you on the other. So um, feel free to flip if it resonates more for you. For Libra. For Libra spirit regarding the person you're thinking about at this time. Let's start with your person, Libra. What does Libra's person think about them at this time, spirit? What are their energies towards Libra? at this time. Oh, I got two right away. Okay. We got Beaver, beautiful energy. Beaver is um, very uh, hardworking, family oriented, provides for their family, dedicated, and we got the Cobra, which the Cobra is kind of all about watching and waiting. Um, it's a very spiritual card. Also, they're kind of like the students of life. Um, so I feel like there's someone here that is your person because um, this is their side. So your person, I feel, is someone who wants to give to you because the beaver is all about giving. Um, they do everything that they do for their family, for their partners, and um, they're not afraid to work hard and put in effort. Now with the Cobra, I feel like your person is either learning about you or um, kind of watching and observing right now. Let's see. What about Libra? What are Libra's energies towards this person? Whoa, that's way too many. What are Libra's energies towards this person's spirit? Libra's energies, please, towards this person. Oh, okay, we got the gazelle. Very hyper aware of the gazelle. Always observant as well. I feel like both of you are either watching each other on social media or just kind of keeping tabs on each other in some way. The gazelle is very graceful, but also always kind of paranoid in, in a sense because they're always being like watched or, or looked for. What is Libra's energies towards this person? Okay, whale, 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 sorry, I had to. Okay, so with the whale, this is like very deep energy here, deep emotions, a very deep person, um, someone who has a lot of depth. So either you feel that your person has a lot of depth to them, or you have a lot of emotion for this person. We'll see what the tarot says. Just gonna pick some cards for you, your person and some cards for you to get an idea of how you feel about each other here. What energies you bring to the table here, what's going on between you. For Libra Spirit. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. All right, Libra, let's see. For Libra Spirit. How does Libra's person feel about them at this time? What's going on right now with Libra's person? What can you tell me? Give us some insight spirit into Libra's person at this time. Okay, we got Ace of Cups reversed. 
So your person has a lot of, um, they're either experiencing a lot of disappointment or um, they're heartbroken about something. What else can you tell me for a Libra's person? Yep, King of Cups reverse. Your person's emotions are all over the place. They're not doing well. What else can you tell me about Libra's person? Seven of Swords, possibly because they were not playing fair. Um, they could have been deceptive and it could have cost them. We'll see when I clarify. Anything else I need to know about Libra's person? Your person here could have caused disappointment to you. This could be you. Heartbroken and disappointed and um, your emotions are just off balance because of them. Because of what they've done. What else can you tell me? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups upright, King of Cups reversed. They might be seeing you as this Queen of Cups Libra. This whale energy, a lot of depth, intuitive, caring, nurturing. What else can you tell me about Libra's person? What else do we need to know, Spirit, about Libra's person? It could be that you are very balanced emotionally and your person isn't. Your person could be trying to manipulate a situation here. Strength, Leo energy. They could be trying to control a situation, um, trying to get a handle of either they're trying to control a situation here or they're trying to get control over their emotions, which are all over the place. We'll see when I clarify. Tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra. What are Libra's energies? Tell me about Libra, please. So I just heard you don't trust them. Hmm. I looked under the gazelle and immediately I got that message. You don't trust them. Page of Wands. You're ready to start something new. Go after something here. There's a message here. Possibly this person is bringing you a message about starting something new. What else? For Libra. What are Libra's energies in this connection? The full reversed for you is too risky. Eight of Pentacles. You might be taking a real risk either with this person or unable or delayed in your new beginning and have to work on something here. Yeah, there's there's um the chariot reversed. There's something here where you are not you either are needing to change direction or you're stuck. Not moving forward, and I think it has to do with this person. It's like you're willing to put in the work, but and, and you and you're willing to take a risk, and you're willing to try something new, but you're still stuck. You're not moving forward. What else for Libra? What else for Libra? Yeah, the Magician reversed, not manifesting. There's something that's not working out, that's not happening, that's not being created here. There could be something missing, something that you don't have um, that is keeping you from manifesting something here, Libra. So let's clarify let me clarify these messages 
for Libra. Let me clarify these messages for Libra. Tell me about this King of Cups reverse. I know there's disappointment. I know there's heartbreak, but I, why is this King of Cups reverse? Oh, that one just flew out. Six of Pentacles. Giving. Remember what I said about the beaver? Giving. What else about this King of Cups reverse? Why is this King of Cups reverse? Tower. Yeah, your person. Your person either. Okay. Either you brought a tower on your person and something was brought down here and your person is really disappointed and heartbroken about it and wants to make it right or they screwed up and want to make things right but it's almost like in a manipulative way if they screwed up and are trying to rebalance the situation here if they brought this tower on your relationship or your connection um, I feel like their emotions are blocked or their intu intuition is blocked because they just want to make it right and they don't they're not really thinking about how to do that in the right way, if that makes sense. It's almost like someone's so desperate to make something right that they manipulate or make you feel bad or, or play the victim or, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not the right approach. And, then, and you know, and that is just cemented by this seven of swords. This is not the right approach. This is the opposite of <laughs> the right approach here. This is someone who is avoiding responsibilities, does not want to face the music, sneaks away, lies, um, just not the right approach. They're unethical in their approach. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Five of Wands reverse. See, it's like they want to it's like they want to improve the, the difficulty, the conflict, overcome the drama, overcome the fighting or like not fight anymore. But I don't think they're doing it the right way. They could have instigated or gotten involved in drama and dragged you into it as well. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Oops. The world reversed lack of closure unable to end a cycle um they don't want something to end i feel page of cups this is an apology is what i'm feeling very strongly here what's behind that eight of swords reversed and behind that the king of pentacles interesting so this is what i'm seeing here page of cups expressing some sort of emotional message here with the page of cups um, wanting to break free of fear, um, not being held back by fear, not feeling backed into a corner. And then the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is very stable, grounded energy. Behind that, I have the higher font reversed. This could be someone married. This King of Pentacles is already in a commitment and it could be wanting to break free of a commitment because I have the higher font reversed. And the Eight of Swords reverse. Maybe this person was married this whole time and you found out. Or they want to express how they feel now that there's no longer a commitment they're in. Or there's something that they're not telling you about this ending. Because I have this clarifying the Seven of Swords and I have the, the World reverse. This is not a clean ending here. It is a false start because I don't think this person is doing things the right way. Tell me about strength. Why is strength here? The star, queen of pentacles, ace of pentacles. My goodness. Lots of great cards here, guys. B bottom of the deck, the nine of swords. I love how I say like lots of great cards and then the bottom of the deck is the nine of swords. But um, again, I feel like this is, um, and I'm just gonna say it because I'm not here to tell stories. Um, this isn't Disney Channel. Um, basically, this could go both two ways. I'm going to say both ways because they're very, they're possibilities, right? 
One possibility that I see here, because this is clarifying the strength card, and when I first put down the strength card, I immediately thought someone is trying to control the situation. Um, and I thought that because I have the King of Cups reversed and the strength card. So when I put them all together, I think someone manipulative, someone that does not want to, someone that wants to regain control. They want to do it in whatever means possible. So if you're dealing with someone like that, this person's going to offer you everything that you could possibly want. Um, whatever wish you desired, whatever, if you wanted commitment, if you wanted a new opportunity, if you wanted a marriage, if you wanted to be financially secure, they're going to offer it all. Everything that you possibly wanted. But be careful because I think... I think their intuition or their intentions, I'm sorry, their intentions, well, they're ignoring their intuition and so their intentions are not in the right place. I think they're doing this because they don't want to lose something and that's not always the best reason for doing stuff, especially when it comes to love. Another way you can take this, if you're not dealing with someone like that, if you were the one that caused this tower. Okay. If you were the one that had an unexpected event, or if your person had an unexpected event that was caused by, like it wasn't them that caused it, it happened to them. If this is a tower that happened to your person, then I feel that your person is regaining control over their emotions, over their life, restabilizing, having patience, letting things flow, letting things happen as they should. And because they're doing that, there's the potential for something great here. They're having the courage to approach you with all of this. Courage, hope, faith, as well as commitment and opportunity here. Because there's a lot of love with the Queen of Cups. But I think they're, they might be just appearing strong on the outside because inside they're stressed. Like they're stressed. So let's see what's going on here with you. What is the Page of Wands about here? What's the Page of Wands about? Five of Cups. Disappointment. Regret. What's the Page of Wands about? Wheel of Fortune reverse and the devil. So something here is just not working out. Like I said, possibly you're dealing with a Capricorn or there's just some sort of attachment here that is keeping you stuck. There's setbacks here. And that's why you're not having a new beginning. Even though you're willing to work for it. Why the Magician reverse? Why the Magician reverse? Why, I just want one card, please. Why the Magician reverse? This one. Eight of Swords reverse. Why the Magician reverse? So you want to break free as well of your fear of paranoia, possibly, of overthinking. Ten of Wands reversed. I feel like there's a burden that your mind, your thoughts, fear is a burden here, is, is a weight on this, on, on how you handle this connection. I feel like you're trying to manifest something, but it's, it's too much. You're not able to do all of this by yourself. It takes two to tango. Bottom of the deck, the higher font reverse. So you could also be breaking some sort of commitment as well. This could be you that's breaking a commitment or your person um, is breaking a commitment here because the, their commitment is too much of a baggage and it's causing your relationship to be at a dead stop. Yeah, there needs to be, yeah, there needs to be a choice made, but someone might make the wrong choice with judgment reverse. Why is the chariot reverse? Why is the chariot reverse? Empress. Interesting. 
you know what I thought? This empress is a is an interference, which is weird because the empress is someone who manifests and makes things happen. It could be it could be that you have an interference of an uh, empress like energy in this connection, or it could be that you are switching direction in order to grow something here. Tell me more about the and just when I say that, there's a three of cups reverse. Tell me about the cherry reverse. Why is the cherry reverse? Three of wands. You're expecting something to happen here. You're waiting for something to, to, to happen here because you might have already planted some seeds. You might have already started manifesting something, but be careful because I, I don't, I feel like this, whatever you're manifesting, you can't do it by yourself. Tell me about the cherry reverse or whatever you're trying to grow. Yeah. Seven of pentacles. This is all about growth and investment. I feel like you have invested something into this connection and I feel like it's just not moving forward. Like you have done, you have brought your A-game with the Empress. You have brought your A-game. A um, or it could be that you are needing to change direction here because wherever you are right now, is just, there's just nothing there and you're dealing with an interference, you know? So it's like you're being blocked at every turn. You have the Chariot reverse, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, the Fool reverse, the Magician reverse. This is someone that you are not having a new beginning. You are not having progression at all period you are there are significant delays significant setbacks like to the point where there is no movement and now you're doubting like is this ever going to happen how much longer do i have to wait um is this empress always going to be here or um did i invest in the right thing because all i'm doing as an empress here who by the way the empress knows her worth so she knows she's above all this so there's very two very distinct messages. Um, I'm reading for a lot of people. A lot of people are watching these, so take it as it resonates. And yeah, thank you again to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Take care.